Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of November 2022. You come in with the Six of Cups. You might be reminiscing, thinking about the past, but also, that's okay. Always think back to good memories, but sometimes there are memories that cloud our negative, that cloud our judgment and our thoughts. So try to work through the negative energy and forgive and forget and learn from it before you carry on because you can change the present now and you can change the future. So take it to your advantage and choose who you want to be with and what you want to do. Definitely somebody could be coming back from the past and giving you a gift. This can be um, a photo or this can be a helping hand or a listening ear or this can also be um, a, a gift of money. Six means that um, you are more than halfway and that you are in balance. Also you have the family card. Family is important this week for you as you've got the ten of pentacles. This means that you could be getting a promotion you could be getting a wage rise. You could be expanding the family. This could be with a child or with a dog. You can see the dog here. Also, this means that you could be expanding the home or refurbishing the home or modernizing the home. Definitely something to do with the home or family. You see the family tree in the coin. I think it looks more like the sun. When I got this deck, I thought it was the sun until I saw Ten of Pentacles and everybody walking around with pentacles. Definitely it's the beginning of the um, festive season and it might be earlier for you as you might succeed in an exam or getting a job or getting that promotion or getting married or getting engaged or starting to extend the family. Also Ten means completion. So there could be a project finished right at the end of the year. Awesome, well done. Also, 10 becomes a 1. So there could be a new project or a new beginning coming in. But definitely you could be getting together with family and friends and celebrating and celebrating. Also, the 10 confirms that there will be a new beginning because you've got the full. The fool to me not only means taking that leap of faith, but also having faith in yourself, not judging yourself. Also looking at, at not what you also looking at what you have and be, be grateful and not looking at what you don't have. There could be two new beginnings. Also not being foolish, not being immature, not being childish. But know when the inner child can come out to play. So do the research if you can. And try to get as much information be before you take that leap of faith into the deep. It could be cooling and refreshing, but it's also fantastic to know what you're getting yourself into with this new beginning. And because there is a choice of more new beginnings, then... It could be wiser just to find out the information and details so that you can make the right choice. So this decision or choice could be long lasting and for long term if that is what you wish. You might be seeking advice as we've got the Queen of Swords. She also represents prominently Libra, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. She's looking out to the future. But I see flags, so watch out for the warning signs. Also, this lady is um, short and sh uh, short on the way she speaks sometimes, but she speaks her mind and she speaks the truth only in your interest. She will cut straight through to the core and to cut away the BS so that you will have clarity and you will have truth. If you find yourself in a judicial situation, then definitely you need somebody that is sharp and thinks on their feet so that they can communicate, 
straight and direct, but also with a beautiful intonation that catches your attention. So definitely listen to what this lady has to say. If you're not dealing with a Libra or a, a jurist or an advocate or a lawyer or a real estate agent, then you could be taking a page out of her book, being really sharp to the point this week. But be careful of that intonation. You catch more attention if you talk with a charming, business-like, calm voice. Also, um, by not cutting people down or cutting through people, use that short sword wisely, as the sword also stands for wisdom and communication apart from authorities or institutions. She's looking towards the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is right in front of her. This could be you, not seeing the, the future and what fortune lies uh, right in front of you. So get prepared. Get that information. Seek advice from a mother figure or a father figure or somebody that's professional. The Wheel of Fortune also represents Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. Your, the wheel is moving upwards for you. And remember, you are on balance. Your balancing, your balancing act is great. You're in total balance and in control. Also remember, enjoy this moment because we, the world and the wheel turn round. It goes up and what goes up must come down. What goes down must come up. But at the moment, with all the other positive cards and clear cards, it's precise and exactly clear to me that you're on the up and forward. Now, and have learned from the past and you are taking the knowledge and life experience like the fool with you so that you don't have to only um, uh, uh, sorry that you don't only have to go on your intuition but now you've got the knowledge and life experience you could be dealing or meeting somebody on the web as well you could be working on the web but definitely i think you're going to if you've got your own business bring in a more um, customers also you could be moving home or you couldn't be moving the business or you could be going on holiday now the last card that i have for you is happy 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 now she looks as if she's sitting on an egg and she's breeding uh, brooding the egg and it can be bursting any moment that new start one new start two and three as those three cards out of the five mean endings and new beginnings so definitely happy times are coming in she's holding her star her wish and look at the rainbow the green the blues and the yellow the ancestors uh, are right behind you and above you they're sending love and light to you also number 26 is eight so you're in your strength this is the house of money and the house of power so you're brooding something out and it's coming this new beginning is coming in also you see the face but the face is sort of non-descriptive it could be the face and the eyes um, of the divine or the angels watching over you i hope you've enjoyed this reading so be happy don't worry and stand in your strength because you're balanced i hope you've enjoyed this reading this week take care stay safe and be blessed and know that the angels and your ancestors are behind you love you bye bye big kiss